As we saw from last week's closing moments of Miracle Day, Torchwood, the group of Jack and Gwen are taken to an airport to be transported to the U.S. While aboard, old Jack gets poisoned only after he raises the issue of a morphic field under the whole context of monkeys from one, one island develop, use, develop weapons from using a rock monkeys from another island, yada yada. And also the whole notion those who are mortal become immortal and vice versa, but the animals and plants are not included in this. The spy aboard the plane, like I said, sends report. And it's a mad dash rush of trying to cure Jack. While at the same time, Dr. Vera Ores is at a forum discussing the whole non-death issue and a lot of the drugs that are being created or currently have may raise the issue of MRSA. Not to mention Rex and Esther find out that they've got money deposited in their bank accounts to try to discredit them. And I'm talking bukus for the money here. Oswald Danes, while on a talk show, breaks down. Literally just breaks down. And twice Jilly Kitson Kitzinger offers him and Dr. Vera her card, but oddly enough, she's a drug rep with Juarez and a public relations officer for Oswald. So the big question is, who is she really working for? And Brian Friedekin played by Newman himself has higher ups dictating to him what should be done. So the big question still on everybody's mind should be and is who's behind Miracle Day? How long has Miracle Day been going on? And still, the issues should be raised. Is this an ambush towards Jack? Has somebody honestly found out a means to circumvent his abilities in order to kill him? Blind dyslexic. Ciao for now.